Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into a serious topic that every Filipino needs to understand, the big one, a massive earthquake that could strike Metro Manila and nearby areas. Let's break it down, what it is, why it's a threat, which cities are at risk, and what you should do when it happens. First, what is the big one? It's a predicted magnitude 7.2 earthquake along the West Valley Fault, a 100-kilometer fault running through Metro Manila and nearby provinces. Experts say it could cause shaking so intense it reaches intensity 8, lasting up to 90 seconds. That's enough to collapse thousands of buildings, trigger fires, disrupt water and power, and cause massive casualties, potentially over 33,000 deaths and 100,000 injuries. So what causes this quake? The West Valley Fault isn't at a plate boundary but is part of the Philippine Fault Zone, driven by the collision of the Philippine Sea Plate and the Eurasian Plate. These plates push against each other, building stress that could snap the fault, causing a devastating quake. Which areas are most at risk? Metro Manila will bear the brunt. Cities like Quezon City, Marikina, Pasig, Makati, Taguig, Muntinlupa, and Paranaque could face intense shaking and building collapses. Liquefaction in low-lying areas might make the ground sink, damaging roads and homes. Nearby provinces like Rizal, including San Mateo, Rodriguez, and Antipolo, are also in the danger zone, along with parts of Laguna, Cavite, and Bulacan. Now, how do you prepare? Preparation is key. Know your area's risks and evacuation routes. Secure heavy furniture like shelves and appliances to walls. Build an emergency kit with food, water, a flashlight, batteries, a first aid kit, a whistle, and important documents in waterproof containers. Learn how to use a fire extinguisher and shut off utilities like gas and electricity. Join earthquake drills to practice what to do. When the earthquake hits, remember, drop, cover, and hold on. Drop to your hands and knees, get under a sturdy table to protect your head and hold on until the shaking stops. If you're indoors, stay there, avoid windows and doorways. If outside, move to an open area away from buildings, trees, and power lines. If driving, pull over safely and stay in your vehicle, avoiding bridges. If near the coast, head to higher ground to avoid a possible tsunami. After the quake, check for injuries and help others if you can. Evacuate damaged buildings carefully, as aftershocks could cause more collapses. Check for gas leaks or fires and listen to radio or official apps for updates. Don't re-enter buildings until authorities say it's safe. The big one is a real threat, but we can reduce its impact by preparing now. Visit the Pi VOLCS website for more info and join earthquake drills in your community. Stay safe and let's be ready together. Don't forget to